good morning. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make panzanella. It's an Italian a tomato and bread salad. You start with, uh, you try to get the best quality tomatoes that you can. I'm using um, uh, red uh, vine ripened tomatoes. Uh, I cut them in half and then into pieces that, you know, approximately this size. After you cut them, they, they tend to to drain a little bit, so I'll let them sit and I'll pour off some of the uh, moisture because we're going to be adding croutons to that, and I don't want those croutons to get too uh, soggy. Uh, to the, uh, the tomatoes, I'm going to add some sliced red onion, about, oh, probably about a half of onion, red onion thinly sliced. You can use uh, sweet Vidalia onions, but stay away from just the, uh, the garden variety uh, yellow onions. And then to that, I'm going to add some capers, about, about two tablespoons. And then mix that together. Some chopped Italian parsley. Uh, Italian parsley is more flavorful than the, uh, the curly parsley, so I'd recommend that. So get that mixed nicely, and then I'm going to add some uh, salt and pepper to that. And then again, mix that up nicely. Then I've got some uh, Kalamata olives that I chopped. I'm going to use just, oh, probably what would amount to maybe a cup and a half of those. You can use uh, Niçois olives if, if you like. If you, if you chose, you could use green olives. I'd probably stay away from the canned olives, black ones. They don't have nearly as much flavor as the uh, Niçois or the Kalamata. And then I'm going to dress the salad. And th this particular dressing has uh, uh, Dijon mustard in it, garlic, um, salt and pepper, red wine vinegar, uh, one part to two parts of, uh, of olive oil. And this salad is really terrific with, uh, it's a good summer salad, it's great with um, with grilled meats, uh, flank steak, any kind of steak, chicken it's delicious with. I, I've even served it with, uh, with salmon and halibut, and it's just a, it's a terrific pairing. So then, into that, I'm going to put these croutons. Um, I use day-old bread, and rather than cutting them, I tear the croutons to give it more of a rustic shape. And you put the croutons or the, the torn bread into a bowl, pour some olive oil on it, mix it together, and then uh, bake them for about, oh, maybe 10 minutes in a 400 degree oven. So put those babies in. And then mix that together. And what happens is the, uh, the dressing that I pour it on, the croutons will start to absorb that so you get these really flavorful croutons. So it's really a beautiful looking salad as well. Now at this point you'll determine if you need to uh, add more salad dressing or if, or if that's enough. And to make that determination, I'll usually taste one of the croutons. That's pretty good, but I'm thinking I'm going to add a little bit more dressing. Not a whole lot. So I hope you can see this. It's really an attractive salad. And the last ingredient I'm going to use is fresh basil. And you have a couple of options here. You can tear the basil if you would like, like so, and just tear it into small pieces and randomly put it on. Or you can take the leaves, roll them. Some of you are familiar with that. 
and then slice them thinly, which we call chiffonading the basil. So you have smaller pieces like that, and just put those on. That's going to be a big hit at any summer picnic, so I hope you enjoy that. See you soon.